For the record, this is what it looks like on my end as I'm playing the game. And this was basically how you seen it on your end. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Anyway, as you see, there is an eye switch. Hit the eye switch in this room. Yeah, this is the one with that silver blocky block block there. And open the chest. There's a key. Booyah! Without further ado, I'll get hit by the skull tool. And yee! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what's in here. This looks like. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh my. This is not going to end well. <laughs> it's an iron knuckle and this is going to take forever because I am Child Link and I got the range of a paring knife. And I'm gonna grab some hearts. <laughs> actually, um... I read somewhere that there's actually some Skulltulas hidden underneath pillars in these kinds of rooms. I don't know if this is the kind of room, but I recall that there was somewhere, and I, I didn't hear any, because you know how you can hear their scratchy scratch scratch as they move around. But just in case, I'm gonna have him smash all these pillars first, because I've got a crap load of fairies and I really don't need the hearts to be honest. <laughs> Although, I, I would very much appreciate if you were to move a little bit faster, thank you. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I, I don't hear any Skulltulas whatsoever, so this is probably a big waste of effort, but... Just to be safe, because you never know. Because, like, you can't hear some gold Skulltulas after you, um... What the? <laughs> I got hit by the rock? Anyway, you can't hear some gold Skulltulas unless you spawn them. Go, 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 go! Retreat and attack! Retreat and attack! That's my strategy! Actually, this is working fairly well. And... This is working extremely well, and I'm getting maximum... Ow. <laughs> maximum damage from my slash attacks, because I'm using jump attacks. Come on, do your... Not that one. Well, I suppose that you can... Well, I can do it this way too if you want to play that way. Yeah, we can we can dance like this. Oh boy, armor came off. He's gonna be faster and more aggressive. This is gonna be a tough one, actually. No, it's still just a pure patient battle. Yeah. <laughs> These guys, as I said before, aren't really hard. Just have to be really, really patient with them. And he's done. Which shall open that. And I didn't see any treasure chests of sorts there, so I'm just gonna move on and hope for the best. Ah, this is the end of the child side. Well, at least until we unlock some treasure chests for the child side. No! I didn't want to see you. How? No! This is this is not right. I'm supposed to get the silver gauntlets. Change back into an adult, and come back in here. But no, you have to ruin everything by stalling for time. Oh, thank God, it's your last advice. Fly away. Never return. No. No. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. You do not have to keep watching me. You haven't helped me through this entire adventure. Open the treasure chest! <sighs> ah. Woohoo! It's the silver gauntlets! Unfortunately, kids can't wear them. But don't worry, we'll be able to. Although, we're supposed to go give them back to uh, Nabaru there. Uh oh! Well, that doesn't sound too good. Hey, where are you talking? I'm talking. <laughs> hey, where are you taking me? Yeah, let me go. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions. Well, looks like she won't need those silver gauntlets. <laughs> Don't worry, I will, but I'll be back in seven years. <laughs> Who?
Who are those mysterious witches? We shall see soon enough. Dramatic sand covering, and that's pretty much it for this as childhood. Uh, you can just pretty much warp over to the Temple of Time and come back here as an adult, which I'm going to do right now. Oh, you can also jump off of here if you'd like to. Woo! Spirit Temple in the adult world seven years later, and now I can finally move finally move these blocks <laughs> that was kind of weird it looked like it nicked above the thing and I don't know anyway grab this block since we already pressed that I switch on the other side we have no need for this whatsoever because it'll just fall down the hole and hopefully lock into place because <gasps> remember that switch that was in this hole was the switch that gave me that treasure chest back into the past so now we can enter this room and what I'm going to be doing here right away is going back down the rooms as as an adult that I was through as a child to unlock some poop just so I can come back here later as a child. Um, the first thing here is long shot right up to this chest. I'm sure... There we go! <laughs> Why didn't I work the first time? It must have just been just a little bit above. Ooh, a small key, that's just what I needed and a switch! And I'm going to go down there. No like like. Apparently enemies stay permanently killed in these dun in this dungeon for whatever reason. I don't know why. That's kind of a rarity actually thing. Um uh, and hit this switch, and I'm pretty sure this will make the treasure chest appear, yep, in that other room that had those slugmas. So that means I'll be able to come back there late. Wait, 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 wait. Switch. <laughs> I'll be able to go back there late as a kid and get that treasure chest. Now for the many puzzles that await me as an adult. This is going to be the issues here, like, where do I go from now? <laughs> Or where do I go from here? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I suppose in this room, besides lighting those torches with fire arrows, because I'm almost positive that's the correct solution, but I'm not going to do that just yet, I don't think, because I would like to call Pierre over here and get up to that second area, because I know there's a treasure chest on... Why didn't that work? <laughs> Okay, let's get the camera in that area. Come on, I know Pierre appears here. He appears through time. <laughs> there we go. And... Wait, actually, I'll just get a couple hearts. I believe there's hearts. Oh, there's arrows. Ah, there's a heart, okay. Actually, I don't even know why I got that. As I said, I had four fairies. <laughs> I said that seven years ago already. Um, got a floor master. Holy poopers, and it's good! <laughs> and it's very painful. Nope. It must kill floor master and its babies before they respawn. Actually, I, I'm not gonna bother with you guys, come to think of it. What? Oh, there's a Triforce symbol over there. Oh, I can enter this thing. Mm, I'm not liking the look. Oh, you sneaky snake. <laughs> uh, so I guess I cross using those. But man, I want to do one room at a time. As curious as I am to move forward, I must do one room at a time. I'm pretty sure I can get across there with ye ol' hover boots. And yes, I know I could have got to that carpet salesman. Holy poopers. Person way, way back at the deserts and yeah, with the hover boots. I just didn't think of it at the time. I was being an idiot. So anyway, there's that. And I'm going to take those off so I don't slip and slide everywhere. Pierre should be down there still, right? Oh my god, the pot's following me up here. <laughs> uh, no, Pierre disappears for whatever reason. All right, I'm pretty sure you know what to do here. Yep. Where is, where is that? <laughs> is that over here? Oh yeah, it is. It just, it like fell inside the crate. That was, oh no, a wall mask is gonna get me, isn't it? No, 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 no! 
No, 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 no. Aha! Because I thought it was going to get me in the cutscene like it did before. And Floor Master, you are... That was terrible aim. Awesome. Now, that's all the enemies in this room, right? Does that... Give me anything? <laughs> Please? No? Wait, I, I heard that. Is that another wall master? Yeah, that's another wall master, so I guess I didn't kill all the enemies in this room. Yeah, what? Why are those torches up there anyway? There, it do there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. Ah, there we go. I miscounted my A's. Yeah, because you see on the map there's no treasure chests, but there's clearly something here with those torches. Unless, unless they're like red herrings or something like that. But I, what I planned on doing was like shooting them... Hmm. I definitely need my fire arrows, so let's get those out first and foremost. There we go. And... I guess I'm gonna have to stand at like a central point. And attempt to do this. Can I get them all from here? This seems like a pretty safe place. Oops. Okay. Here we go. Gotta do it quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be precise. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. I'm not sure if I got those first two. I did get them. And the fire arrows were the solution to that. Okay, so that opens that door up there. Hopefully that'll stay permanently open. And let's go through it. Uh, okay, there's a wall master in this room. And a staffos. But I'm pretty sure I should take care of the wall master first. <laughs> there we go. You are going down. And so are you guys. Oh, and you know what? Because I'm t really tired of facing staffos. For the fun of it. Just because I can and people keep asking me to, I'm going to be using the cheapo Big Oron Sword for these guys. Defense penetrating powers of the sword lets you pretty much just steamroll all enemies like so. <laughs> so there you go, you got to see it happen and I can't do squat in this room until I get the mirror shield. But I showed you the sword and there you go, now you should be very happy. So, apparently, I'm gonna have to be going through... Ah, good, that room stays open. I'll be back there later with the mirror shield. But as for now, I be going here. And I think I'm gonna do that in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.